Hello everyone and welcome to Pick A Card Reading on Who Is Spying On You and Why. For this Pick A Card, I'd like you to take a few deep breaths before picking one pile for your reading. And once you're ready, please pick a pile. So for pile one, we have the Rose Quartz, pile two, the Soda Light, or pile three, the Amethyst. Hello pile one and welcome to Pick A Card Reading on Who Is Spying On You and Why. This reading is for everyone who's chosen the Rose Quartz Crystal. So pile one. Right off the bat, I feel like this person who's spying on you is someone who is very wise. This is someone who may be a night owl. Night times could be when their brain's more active. I feel like this person has good self-esteem, self-love. They could be someone who's quite an academic or enjoys reading. But it does feel like they're very analytical, someone who likes to dwell deep. I feel like this person may enjoy solving puzzles or they may enjoy intellectual pursuits. I'm also sensing this person may have a very good, clear intuition. I'm getting for some of you this person could be a strong air sign or have some kind of prominent air sign placement in the nature chart. Air signs being Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. With this death card, I feel like this person's undergone some kind of ending in their life. So part one, you're probably wondering why this person is spying on you. I feel for some of you, this person may be a relative of yours, like a maternal figure. For some of you, it could be your mother. For others, it could be an auntie. But this person does have this air of fertility about them, a protective nature. And for others of you, I feel like this may be an ex of yours, someone who's wanting reconciliation, someone who wants some kind of fresh beginning. With this five of swords, in the past, maybe one of you wasn't being honest with the other, or someone took more than the other. So perhaps one of you moved away from the relationship due to some kind of wrongdoing, which led to the relationship ending. I feel like this person who's spying on you could be an air sign as well. But it doesn't have to be, but I do sense this energy of someone who is intellectual like yourself. Someone who enjoys learning, discovering, solving. And for a small amount of you, I feel like this is someone you don't know. They're spying on you because they're seeing your creativity. I feel like you're a very creative group. And some of you may display your artwork online, which is why this person is spying on you, because they're observing, watching your artwork. This is someone who chooses to remain anonymous. So part one, I feel like this is quite a straightforward reading. There's a few possibilities of who's spying on you and why. I feel like for some of you, it's a relative, like a maternal figure, like a mother, aunt, or even an older sister. Maybe it's someone you've fallen out with. For others, this could be your ex who wants some kind of reconciliation. They want to restart things. And for a small amount of you, I feel like it's someone who admires your work, who adores your creativity. There's something which you share online which is capturing their attention. So par one, that's all I have for you for this reading on who's buying on you and why. I hope you've enjoyed today's reading and if you have, please ensure to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more video uploads and it also greatly helps the channel to grow. Thank you for watching, catch you next time, bye. Hello par two and welcome to your pick a card reading on who's buying on you and why. This reading is for everyone who's chose the so delight crystal. So part two, I feel like this person who's spying on you is someone who is quite religious. If not religious, they're someone with high values, high ideals. It's someone who believes in God, your universe, faith. I feel like this person is 
quite a builder. They literally may work in the construction field or they may work in some kind of field where it's building a community or perhaps project work even. I feel like this person is spying on you because they seem that you have a pure heart. They're drawn to your spirit. They seem that you're very persevering. There's something magical about you which they admire. I feel like this person is spying on you from afar. For some of you, I feel like this person may want to collaborate with you in the future because they see that your values are kind of on the same wavelength as theirs. They see your light and they feel like you're someone with good integrity. With the chariot card, I feel like they feel you'd be a good person to work with to spread some kind of message to the world. Or someone who could work with them to help others on a big scale. Perhaps they have some kind of business venture in mind, like doing some kind of good cause, spreading some kind of message to the world. But whichever this is, it feels like they see you as divine or someone who could help them spread divine messages or provide divine services of some sort. They view you as someone with knowledge about a lot of things and I feel like they feel you would make subjects more palatable, more interesting to others. It does feel like this person could be older than you. If not, they could just be someone who's very wise, with very strong foundations, good structures in place. And for a small amount of you, I do feel this person could be a love interest. Someone who sees you as angelic. Someone they could build foundations with. And I feel like this person wants to move forward, come forward. They're quite determined. But it does feel like they're assessing things before they come forward. This person's quite calculated in their moves. It feels like they need to think out what they would do. I feel like this person is waiting for the right time to come forward. But in the meantime, I feel like they're watching you from afar and, and daydreaming about what it would be like dating you, what it would be like being in a relationship with you. And with the Seven of Cups, I do feel this person feels you have many options, you have a lot of admirers. And this has just come through. And for a small amount of you, this person can't come forward because I feel some of you may already be in a relationship. So they're just admiring you from afar. So part two, that's all I have for you for today's reading on who's spying on you and why. I hope you've enjoyed today's reading and if you have, please ensure to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more video uploads. And it also greatly helped the channel to grow. Thank you for watching, catch you next time, bye. Hello Part 3 and welcome to your pick a card reading on who is spying on you and why. This reading is for everyone who chose the Amethyst Crystal. So Part 3, I feel like this person who is spying on you is someone who is undergoing some kind of change of luck. Because with this Wheel of Fortune card, I feel like this person's come out of some kind of ending and about to start a new cycle. I feel like this person is ready to begin some kind of new endeavour. They're looking to start something tangible. This person who's spying on you could be an air sign, that's Libra, Aquarius or Gemini. But I'm picking up Libra more due to this Justice card. If not a Libra, I feel like this person likes to see justice, fairness. 
I feel like they approach life in a balanced way. They may balance their work life. They may like to balance what they consume. They could be someone who is quite mindful of excessive habits, patterns, consumptions. So part two, I'm sensing various energies with this group. The first is someone who may hold romantic feelings towards you. They see you as someone who is majestic in your own right, someone who is assertive, someone who has a lot of talents to share with the world. They view you as creative. Some of you in this part may be in the limelight. You may have your own channel. You may perform in front of a lot of people. You could be artists of some sort. But whichever this is, I do feel this person is spying on you because they view you as a wish come true. And I feel like they're trying to manifest you into their life. And for others of you, I feel like this person is spying on you because they admire your wisdom, how wise you are, how strong you are, the fact that you've overcome a lot of limitations. They see that you're about to begin a new cycle. They see that you're very fortunate with this will of fortune. And I feel like this person feels justice will be yours soon. So I feel like this person's rooting for you. They want to see you succeed. They want more abundance for you. Because they feel like you've followed your own truth. You've been authentic. And no matter what, you stick to your inner resolve, your convictions. Some of you watching this pile may be fixed signs. That's Leo, Scorpio, Taurus or Aquarius. Or the person spying on you could be. So part three, that's all I have for you for your reading on who's spying on you and why. I hope you've enjoyed today's reading and if you have, please ensure to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more video uploads. And it also greatly helps the channel to grow. Thank you for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.